We have a lot to talk about in regards to Disney's Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel experience. Last week they put out a video that I covered on the channel. Since then we've seen reaction to the backlash and today new leaked content showing just how bad this project could be. We'll discuss all of that and more in today's video. Hey guys, this is Justin. Hello and welcome to another video. So, as I mentioned in the introduction, today we'll be talking again about Disney's Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel. For those who missed my prior video, which was sort of an introduction to this topic, I'll link it in the upper right hand corner, but the short version is essentially that Disney is creating a hotel for Star Wars fans, or at least for those who want to be in a really expensive Star Wars experience. It's a two night affair, it costs between four and six thousand dollars plus extras, and is tied in fairly closely with Galaxy's Edge. Given all of that, especially the price point, fans were expecting a lot, and the video we got last week was, well, not it. It showed, in my opinion, a pretty poorly created experience. The biggest issue is that this hotel doesn't look Star Wars themed. I touched on this and I later saw other people mention it as well. It looks more like an off-brand version of Star Wars, like Disney didn't have rights to make Star Wars, so instead they made a hotel themed around star conflict. The bridge especially is just completely devoid of the aesthetic details that make Star Wars Star Wars. It looks a lot more like Star Trek or something similar. When the video was posted on YouTube and I reviewed it, I was actually somewhat surprised that reception was only, I guess, neutral or at times mixed and not outright negative. I actually assumed that the reveal video would have been heavily disliked, but in fact, the likes pretty soundly outweighed the dislikes at that point. However, since then, I've been talking, of course, about the experience. My video did fairly well. Other YouTubers, both big and small, have been talking about it as well, and there's been backlash. And first of all, I just want to say that I don't take any pleasure in being negative. I'm not one of those people that looks to make everything Disney does negative. I was very open about really liking Star Wars Visions. I think Galaxy's Edge is not the best Star Wars experience, but pretty cool. So I'm not trying to grift here, but this just looks bad. I'm not going to retread anything that I covered last video, at least in terms of the marketing content that was released, but let's talk about the updates since then. So the biggest update, first of all, is that public sentiment towards Galactic Star Cruiser changed wildly. I'm not taking credit for that at all. My video was only one of many. However, when I did the video, the comments, while still negative, didn't reach the level that they did when it received widespread attention. And that's the the other thing, the video also largely escaped the gaze of the more common Star Wars fan. I only saw this because it was posted on Star Wars leaks, for example. However, soon after things became more public, well, the dislikes started rolling in. And not just dislikes, but discussion around the internet about how bad this hotel experience looked. And a lot of people sort of agreed with me and others that created videos saying that it didn't look like Star Wars. It looked like an off-brand ripoff, that it looked exceptionally cheap, especially considering that individual rooms will sell upwards of six thousand dollars plus additional expenses it's just not good one interesting comment in my video was from someone named walter's world who's a youtuber i'll put his channel down in the description he does travel stuff and he says it looks like a 70s bsg or star trek like you said as a traveler, I couldn't justify that price. I think that's a good summary of how a lot of people felt. Anyway, the first big piece of news is that most likely in response to the controversy, Disney removed that video from YouTube. I think it was also taken down from any public facing places on Disney websites. So that's uh, fairly interesting, especially because they had an actor come in and do the whole experience. It was clearly choreographed and meant to be something impressive. Then today I opened Star Wars leaks and we have another bit of news related to this, specifically the leaking of a welcome video for travelers on Galactic Star Cruiser. I'm not going to lie because this is Disney and because this is a leaked video, I'm a little bit hesitant to show it in its full version. I'll link it instead down in the description and just include some screen caps. But this is basically the same thing that we saw within the preview video, except without even the professionalism or polish of the outside actors and host. And with the cheesy cheapness of the prior video, video really turned up to 11. First of all, this is clearly just an actress standing in front of a green screen 
Don't know why they couldn't get her on the bridge of the Star Cruiser. The visual effects actually coming out of her data pad, I guess, or whatever, look good, but the background itself just looks so bad. And one thing I also saw people in the comments notice is that her hologram projector is literally just the light of an iPhone or other cell phone camera, which is pretty funny. And the thing is, even if this isn't meant for public consumption, it's just so out of line aesthetically and tone-wise from what Star Wars is meant to be. It's the same thing with that song in the prior video. Even if the experience didn't look so cheap, which it does, it feels like it was designed by somebody who had Star Wars explained to them rather than someone who's actually seen the movies. Just kind of blows my mind how every element of this hotel, except for, I will say, the windows in your room, which have ships flying by, is just so cheap. Funny enough, the YouTube video that sort of posted this leaked content, I don't actually know where this is from, compared it to Star Tours, but I will say, Star Tours is actually significantly better in terms of presentation and the lead up to the ride itself, and that's a free simulator ride in Disney so you know not great there but anyway I'm not gonna harp on this too much I'm not trying to make this into a big thing but it's bad it is really bad at least in my opinion it's just missing the tone it's missing the feel and it's missing the quality that you would expect given that it's meant to be this really premium six thousand dollar family experience my question is does removing the video represent some sort of recognition that this experience just at least on its face not good enough and to be completely fair as well We've not just seen the bridge and what the hotel looks like, we've also seen, for example, the lightsaber experience, and that's one case where you can really suggest things that would make the experience better. It's treated like a lazy video game, basically, where you're putting your lightsaber in the path of light, when instead, if they really wanted to make this an immersive experience, they could have used their Imagineers to develop some cool VR technology, you could have wore the headset, you know, like Luke did when he was training, and you could have done something cool that way. So yeah, my first question is are they actually learning and my second question is maybe I'm just wrong like this experience could very well be tailored to somebody different than me if even if I had six thousand dollars lying around just to spend on an experience it wouldn't be this I don't think it would ever be regardless of the quality I'd rather buy something that I can continually use or go on a really life-changing sort of around the world trip so maybe it's just not meant for me it's meant for rich parents who will have kids who will really enjoy it I don't know overall though just not great let me know though what you guys think. Until next time, be safe, have a good one, and may the force be with you.